you good, Joanna? You ready? Okay. Everybody have a bottle of water? Just a few announcements. Unfortunately, we are not able to view a couple of our videos because of the heat that it overheated our um, TVs. We just want to welcome you all here and um, thank you for joining us tonight to celebrate in the light and the life of Micah David May. Tonight we honor him and his loving wife Joanna and his two amazing children. Joanna, I took <clears throat> this little saying for you. Leo Tolstoy said of the candle, just as one candle lights another and can light thousands of other candles, so one heart illuminates another heart and can illuminate thousands of other hearts. Tonight, we will light these candles to share with Micah May's family and friends and those he worked with to show him that our hearts will illuminate a thousand hearts in our community that are left broken with his untimely death. I love you. At this time, I'd like to introduce um, our president of the Injured Police Officers Fund, Sergeant Charles Chelsea Stunkel. Hi everyone. On behalf of the men and women of the 14 Southern Nevada law enforcement agencies that make up the Injured Police Officers Fund, I want to thank you all for being here tonight to honor Trooper Micah May. Since 1982, the IPOF has been able to assist thousands of injured and fallen officers because of the continuous support from the Las Vegas community and the citizens of the entire state of Nevada. I want to say thank you to all the community members businesses, and law enforcement agencies who have extended that generosity and support to Micah's beautiful family during this unbearably difficult time in their lives. I stand here today not just as a representative of the IPOF, but as Micah's friend. As a rookie trooper on Graveyard more than 10 years ago, Micah befriended me and showed me the ropes of the yard. Micah was not only there to have my back on stops, but to make sure that I at least stayed awake long enough to eat with him. Any of you who have worked graveyard know how tough it is to stay awake some nights, but you probably also know how, it is, how important it is that we never miss lunch. I'll never forget the good times and good meals shared with Micah on the yard. I was recently reminiscing about him with a mutual friend, and he said something that stuck with me. He said that Micah was the most loyal guy you'll ever meet, and he couldn't have been more right. I want Micah's wife and children to know that all of my brothers and sisters in blue will carry on Micah's legacy and never stop being loyal to you. Joanna, I want you to know we will always be here for you and your babies. You are stuck with this blue family forever and you will never be alone. <clears throat> I just want to remind everyone, please do not uh, light your candles um, before Joanna lights hers later in the ceremony. And also if you could silence your cell phones, we'd appreciate it. I'd next like to introduce Speaker Lieutenant Anthony Munoz from the Nevada Highway Patrol. Good evening. As Chelsea said, my name's Anthony Munoz. I'm the Lieutenant with the Nevada Highway Patrol. And I'm extremely honored to be up here right now. I had the privilege of working with Mike on the graveyard shift as both the sergeant and lieutenant. Some people are assigned to graveyards and some people are guardians of the night that choose to work graveyards. Micah was a guardian of the night. There's a special bond that's formed amongst those graveyard guardians that will never be broken. We experience things, you know, you think about a day shift or swing shift, there's people on as far as the eye can see. Graveyard, we have us. We have Highway Patrol, Metro, Henderson, and the other units that are on in the valley, but we do have each other. Micah saved so many lives as a graveyard guardian. By taking countless number of impaired drivers to jail, he kept this valley safe. 
and he took extreme pride in it, but you would never know it by working with him. The most humble individual you will ever work with. He had a way of, we'd clear briefing and I could go as a sergeant, I can go hours without seeing him. But God, when those emergency tones went off, he had the power just to show up in the middle of everything. And one thing I'll always take from Micah was the ability to stay calm. I never saw him get worked up during any situation, no matter what was going on. He was calm and I took that from him personally and I have tried to pass that on to the best of my ability. I'll never be able to stay as calm as he did, but he was amazing at it. Joanna, you and the kids will never walk alone. That I promise you. Whether it's little league games, first days of school, I have a daughter, I'm pretty good at getting my nails painted and makeup put on me as well. I promise you, you will never be alone. This isn't a week-long event, this is a lifelong. You've gained thousands of brothers and sisters, not only in the police family, but the fire family as well. We can make fun of each other between police and fire, but gosh dang, there's no one coming between us. Because when stuff goes bad, they're the first to step in with us and us for them. So your family has grown not just for this week, but for eternity. I lost my best friend, Sergeant Ben Jenkins, March of 2020. Micah and Ben were academy mates. When Micah passed, I texted Jody, Ben's wife, and shared the sad news with her. I immediately received a phone call. And she told me she talked to Ben and Ben welcomed him with open arms. He's in amazing hands, Joanna. He's watching over us with Ben. They're okay. He's at peace. I leave you guys with this. It's Isaiah 6, 8. Then I heard a voice, the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and whom shall go for us? Micah raised his hand and said, here I am. Send me, I love you guys. Much like uh, Sergeant Stunkel and Lieutenant Mungels, I started my career on graveyard and I was privileged enough to be on the same squad with Micah May. As a brand new troop, he was our senior trooper on the squad and he was our silent leader. He would sit in the back of briefing and be so unassuming you would never know he was there. But whenever he opened his mouth, you knew you had to listen because it was important. He had this dry wit about him that was I found so funny. He just had the sarcastic humor that I loved. But uh, our sergeant, Sergeant Russell Marco, said it best to me earlier this week when he said, Micah May never said something bad about anybody, and that is true. I never saw him say anything bad about anyone. And I can concur with Lieutenant Munoz that he was somebody that would never lose his cool. I never saw him of anything but calm, cool, and collected. And since those days, Mike went on the day shift and I went on to become the public information officer. And I hadn't seen him in a while. And when this call came out, and then I heard who was involved, and I felt sick in my stomach. This, I, I'm part of the honor guard and I've been to far too many law enforcement funerals in my career. But this is the first time it's somebody who I know, and somebody's home I've been to, and it's painful. It's um, the first time in my career where I'm the public information officer and I have to give up interviews and pour salt on these wounds over and over again this week. But the important part was it's for his family. It's important that everybody in this valley knows what a hero he is. And me saying that, he would be upset with me. He would never call himself a hero. He's the one person I know where he won the Medal of Valor, our highest honor. And I didn't know it until this week. He never wore the medal. He never talked about it. That's who he was. And while I'm up here, I want to thank everybody in attendance. I, I've taken my, I've had my breath taken away from me so many times this week while standing out with Micah's patrol car 
and seeing the public response and all the people, whether they were small children or older members of our community, everybody came out to show support. And I can't thank you enough as somebody who works in law enforcement and to see that our community is behind us because you are everything to us. You're the reason we do this. No one's gonna get rich being a police officer. We do it for our community because we are your friends and we are your neighbors and we love you all. Thank you. Thanks, Travis. All this graveyard talk, I think Mike is looking down upset we didn't do this at 4 a.m. I uh, would next like to welcome NHP Sergeant Darla Van Ellen. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for coming. And boy, I'm glad I got a hat on. So I've had the privilege of knowing Micah for quite a few years. We worked together on Graveyard, and I just wanted to take a nap. I didn't want to go to code. They wanted to eat, and I just wanted to take a little nap. But then uh, he came to great day shift from the Graveyard, and uh, we were on the same squad, and we had a wonderful time, and, and as everybody has said, his wit, his humor, and his uncanny one-liners just were amazing. Uh, and then for about the last year, I've been my sergeant, and uh, we had a wonderful time, my squad and Micah, and a couple times a week, or you know, so I would text the group, good morning, you wonderful troopers, good morning, you amazing humans, and he would respond and say, I think you have the wrong thread. And, uh, you know, it was, it was great to laugh, and I will laugh about that for a long time. Uh, another couple of my troopers have mentioned that they always knew where he was, and he was a stand-up guy, and I just... Well, we will all miss him so terribly. And as my previous speakers have said, we will be with you forever. And uh, I want to thank the community, um, Freeway Service Patrol, the tow truck drivers that were there on the first night, my husband for bringing the RV down so we had a place to camp and brush our teeth and uh, make coffee. And then to Las Vegas Metro Air 2 and UMC medical staff and everybody else that has brought water and just shown us the love. Thank you, family. Um, next up, Micah's wife, Joanna. Sorry, I don't know if you can see me over this. <laughs> kind of short. Okay, hello, my name is Joanna May, Micah's wife, and my husband, an amazing father to our two beautiful children. I'd like to start by thanking everyone for coming out here today. It really means a lot to me and my family, sorry, to see all of the support for Micah. It's been hard, but seeing all of you out here today, it helps to know that I'm not alone. I will never forget the moments we share when Micah would show Raylan how his police car worked. When Micah would leave to go protect our city and keep our people safe, he would always flash his lights and chirp his siren for the kids. He was a very loving father and husband who put his family first, no matter what. On his days off, he would go around the house and try to find things that he could fix with Raylan. It was their favorite activity to do together. He also greatly enjoyed reading to his children the Frog and Toad series. Raylan told me to put that in when I was writing this, by the way. He would read that series to them before bed each night. Micah loved his job, and he loved being a street trooper. He found great joy in taking bad people off the road and helping others in need. I will always love you, Micah, forever and always. I know you will always have our six. I would also like to share that 
I know he hates being called a hero, but I just found out today that he ended up saving four more lives by donating. Sorry. We donated his organs and he was able to save four people. It really does mean a lot that you guys are here. And I thank you so much for everything you have done. I can't thank you enough. I know Micah hates crowds and he hates attention, but I'm sorry you left me too soon. But it really means a lot to us. Thanks, Joanna. That was amazing, and you have way more courage than I know I would. I would next like to welcome NHP Major Martin Malesko. I prepared some statements yesterday <clears throat> that I would also like to read today, as well as the speech that I've prepared for you tonight. The killing of a police officer has a ripple effect across the nation, even the world. It is like the wave at a ball game but you can't see it if you're not at the game. Every law enforcement family in the world is at the game daily, each and every day. Each person who falls represents one less person at the stadium. The stadium seems smaller each time. Spouses, children, and parents breathe a heavy sigh. A sigh filled with grief for the profession and the fallen. Micah, thank you for giving me the opportunity to lead you and to be a part of your journey. I love you, rest easy, we've got the watch. Good evening, I am Martin Malesko with the Nevada Department of Public Safety, the Highway Patrol Division in Southern Command, Las Vegas. On behalf of all the men and women of the Department of Public Safety, it is an honor to stand here before you to express our deep gratitude to all of you for being here this evening. We are truly humbled by the continued outpouring of support from our amazing community. There is no other community like this one, and your support means the world to the May family, as well as the entire law enforcement family that Trooper Micah May will always be a part of. I know this is a difficult time for all of us, but together, as a community, we will find the strength to heal and will be better because of Micah. Thank you again. Joanna. At the core of the Nevada Highway Patrol's life-saving mission it are the heroic state troopers and their courageous families. Joanna, your loved one, Micah, he gave life and second chances to those in desperate need through his passion for impaired driving. Sometimes difficult to see or recognize, but at the core of our mission is you. By sharing Micah with us, you allowed him to bring the light of hope to countless others, a number in which we will never be able to quantify. Micah's efforts touched so many lives, most in which we'll never know just how his efforts provided safe passage for them every single day. Someone's child, parent, neighbor, or friend has been, has been given the ultimate gift because of his dedication and to commitment to traffic safety. Tonight, we wish to share this profound impact that he had on the world. We gather here to honor his legacy and say thank you. It is up to us to keep his memory alive, and I promise you, Joanna, we'll do just that. And to the entire Micah, fam Micah May family, we'll do just that as well. From the bottom of our hearts, we want you to know just how deeply grateful we are for your family, for entrusting our family with caring for your loved one. Please know, Joanna, the May family, we are here to continue standing beside you and with you. Thank you to the Injured Police Officers Fund, Sergeant Stunkel, Trooper Wellman, and everyone else behind the scenes that made tonight possible. Joanna, Melody, Raylan, 
and again, the entire May family, you'll forever be a part of our family, just as you've heard tonight. Thank you for allowing us the honor to recognize Micah this evening. His dedication, his pride, and his service will always be remembered. Thank you. And Joanna, we love you. Trooper Whitmarsh, if I could get you to light the candle, please. Sergeants Whitmarsh, I am so sorry to offend you. He's a brand new sergeant, so we can give him a hard time. Trooper Wellman, if you would escort Joanna up to light her candle, please. The flame of the candle in our center symbolizes remembrance. As we light our own candle in memory of Micah, let us do it, let us do so with gratitude that he lived and that we shared his life for a time. As we pass the flame of remembrance from one to another, let this tiny light also represent our own renewal as we seek meaning in life without those we loved. And as we strive for joy, peace, and happiness, as we look to the future's promise with our surviving loved ones. We're just gonna take a few moments for everyone to get their candles lit at this time. Join me in a moment of silence to remember Micah. Thank you. Once again, I want to say thank you for everyone that's attended. This does conclude our vigil for tonight. Please feel free to visit the donation booth where memorial masks are also available for purchase. Again, thank you to the community and this great city for everyone's support. <laughs>